Hello, hi, it's Liz here and I'm having a little Sunday afternoon break from December Ember, uh, the December daily prompts and I have my yo-yo journal um, out to do a quick page in that as a nice relaxing Sunday afternoon. This is a collaboration between myself and Barbie at um, Nelly and Ruth Designs. I'll leave a link to Barbie's channel. She makes some beautiful things, as you can see, um, in the description box. And pop over, have a look, say hello. She'll be very happy to see you. So this journal goes back and forward and I'm on the final 10 pages. It's with me for 10 pages and then it will go to Barbie to keep. Um, it's coming along absolutely beautifully and I am going to do this page here today. So let's get started. Um, I have two pieces of ephemera here that I want to um, do not do anything with and I'm going to inclu include them in the journal. I'm going to make a belly band for across the middle here to keep these two pieces of ephemera safe. I'm not going to do anything with them. I want Barbie to have them because I think she might get a little kick out of um, these two pieces. So this is an envelope from um, our House of Commons, our Parliament. Um, we get, um, I think it's maybe about once every year or two, um, we get just a general letter from our local MP, Member of Parliament, just to say what they're up to and, you know, trying to get votes, I suppose. Um, and yeah, so this is a, an envelope from that and I think maybe she can do something with it or she can keep it or whatever she wants to do. So I'll include that um, at the end once we've made its safe little home. This is a little gift card from my late mum and dad, uh, their wedding. I will show you what I have. This is the box that my mum kept very safely um, and it holds all the little gift cards that she got with her gifts and her presents when my mum and dad got married. And uh, when I was clearing out the house, I was absolutely, this was a number of years ago, I haven't done anything with them yet and I really want to, but I want Barbie to have this one because it's got little birds on it and Barbie just lo loves little birds. It says, a greeting now is sent to you with the wish your skies be always blue from a Mrs Gilligan. And I don't know who Mrs Gilligan is, but I think it might have been a neighbour at the time. Um, so, yeah. So, in this box, it's also at the bottom. Little cards. Look at this. This is my mum, Bill and me. Bill and me was my mum and dad. Thank you most sincerely for your lovely wedding gift and good wishes and invite you to their show of presents on Tuesday the 3rd and Wednesday the 4th of September 1957. Oh, they had a show of presents over two nights, Tuesday and Wednesday the 3rd and 4th of September 1957. So I'm guessing that if you gave a present then you got one of these on the post because there's a bundle there at the back and there's a bundle of little envelopes. <laughs> so yeah, so one day, if it doesn't make me feel too sad, I will do something with all those little cards. But in the meantime, this one's going to Barbie along with this envelope. And I think she'll enjoy those two. She can do something with that. She can fussy cut the birds or stick it down somewhere or, or just keep it in the, the belly band that we're about to make. So I'll just put them safely over there. So I have this piece of handmade paper, which I thought I want to still be able to see this beautiful um, floral that's on the, the, the actual page. So we'll just... Get that down on either side. But let me, yeah, 
because I want to stitch it. So let's not stick it down just now. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> so let's do a little layering. I've got a piece of cheesecloth, muslin, whatever. I'm not sure what people call it. Here we call it cheesecloth, I think. Anyway, that'll add a little bit of threadiness. Is that a word? Threadiness? Yeah, why not? Then I've got this. Now this comes that size in a long roll. So it's not, it's like lacy ribbon, I suppose. Let's put that on the top of there. Like that. I've got this little random piece from my little basket of random pieces. And we'll just put that in the corner. And again, a little random piece. Let's just collage up. And like I say, Barbie loves birds. So I have this, and let me just show you. This is from Thor Burns Birds, and it's a great book. You get, <laughs> here's all my pieces that I've fussy cut from. You get a page of birds and they're nice and easy to cut out and they don't really overlap if you know what I mean so you get each bird individually. So this bird I've cut out from the book the name. You'll probably, it's very faint, probably not be able to see that. It's a Hebridean song thrush. So we'll put that down there maybe. And I thought that was quite appropriate. The Hebrides are a group of islands to the west of the Scottish mainland. So it's the Hebridean song thrush. And when I looked up, it said it's mainly found in the Outer Hebrides and Skye. The Isle of Skye. And I'm not even going to sing the song. <laughs> I've also got this little sticker here. The music of my heart because I thought that was quite, with it being a song thrush, um, it's song, I don't know, getting a little bit mushy here, but <laughs> maybe it's song warms your heart or touches your heart, I don't know. But anyway, let's get these stuck down and then we can go to the sewing machine and maybe, maybe... Well, we'll see what it looks like when it's stuck. Let's see. I think we'll just use some glue stick for that if we're going to glue around. Let's just do that. If we're going to stitch around, I mean. That's quite nice. That's a little bit of texture. I don't know how I'm going to. Maybe we'll just do the same. So hello to all the new subscribers. It's great to have you here. Some of you are here to watch a the crafting and the junk journaling and whatever else I do, the collage and the glue book and whatnot. And others are here to hear the accent, <laughs> which is fine. I don't mind <laughs> because I think it's not me that has an accent. It's everyone else because everyone here talks like me. So we don't have an accent. <laughs> We don't think we have an accent. It's everyone else that does. Is that right? Is that what you think? <laughs> See, to us, it, it doesn't feel like... Um, I think I'm maybe going to use... Oh, no, we'll try it with this. Um, if I'm going to stitch through all that... Yeah, to us, I don't know, it just seems normal the way we speak. When everybody rounds about you speaks the same way and you don't think about it. But I get so many comments about it that <laughs> it's 
it's quite funny. It's quite funny to us because we don't just don't think about it. Anyway, here we go. Right, now, let's see. Do we want music of my heart? Hebridean. We'll put it below. That's better. So, yeah. So, I don't know. I think I've done three pages. Three of my ten pages. So, still a few to go. This is a nice wee change from from Christmas or from December dailies from all of that. <sighs> I'm saying it's a nice change. It's it's all well, that needs stuff on it too. Um glue. I've only been doing it for what three, four days, three days. <laughs> I need a change already. Such a crafty butterfly, that's what I am, flitting from one thing to another. There. Hebridean, get my ma. Yeah, well, I'll hold it still so that you can read it. Hebridean song thrush, the music of my heart. Oh, Right, I think we'll go and we'll stitch up and down the side here. And then we'll put the bird on because I don't want to stitch through his tail because that would just be too sore for him, I think. That will be like the time my mum accidentally, well, many years ago when I was small, my mum accidentally took the tail off the budgie. <laughs> and there's a story. The budgie was sitting on our, my mum used to knit. She knitted Aaron uh, cardigans and jumpers and Fair Isle and everything. And um, the budgie was sitting on the, the our glasses, the, the, like the the arm of our glasses. And it, it was getting so excited by the clicking of the knitting needles that it pecked her ear. And she went like that, just to, not to hit the bird, but just to make it go away. Like just a sudden movement to her shoulder. <laughs> and she accidentally caught the bird's tail. Who knew that a budgie's tail would come off so easy? Well, it wasn't its actual tail. It was just all the feathers. What a mess. And the poor budgie had no feathers in its tail for a while. <laughs> okay, I'm going to the sewing machine. Okay. <sighs> Not the best sewer in the world, but I think it adds a nice little bit of shabby chic. <laughs> okay, let's get him or her onto this page. And we're just going to use this three in one. Give it a little bit of extra stickiness. Just and no more. <laughs> um, let's see. There we are. Yeah, and I think those textures just add to the the whole look. There's uh, fleece, that's not right. Um, edges, there's edges there, not fluff, fluffy edges. Don't know, you know what I mean. Right, okay, let's think about getting this. Now, how much can we go in? Oh, we can go in quite far. plenty on because I want this to hold this envelope and the envelope is a little bit bulky so we'll put plenty on I'm getting some fibres off here <laughs> right that'll 
will do, I think. Right, and we want it so that we can see those nice flowers. And the little bit of pink there picks up the flower. And the little bit of black, the stitching picks up the little bit of on the little zigzag rick rack. Just give this a good old press down, make sure it's going to hold. Right. Royal Mail, Glasgow. Use up your non-barcode stamps by 31st of January or swap them out because the new stamps are going to have barcodes on them. So we've got to use up the old ones. We don't have any old ones. We don't really keep stamps in the house. When we go to the post office, they, they print out this. A thing. Right, let's just hope that that's stuck down well enough for me to show you how this is going to. Oh, that's quite pretty. I think maybe I want the envelope the other way around. Well, you can't really see anything of the envelope anyway. You can't see the queen, the late queen. Got a king now. Seems to be doing an okay job. And there. Nice. There, the song thrush is looking at all the little, they look like little blue birds, little blue tits, and a little chaffinch or something down there. <laughs> Printed in England. Wow. I'll bet they're not printed in England now. Everything I think it's made in China now. I think that's nice. What do you think? I think Barbie will like that. Nice little bit of whatnot. A nice bird. Music of my heart. And then two nice pieces of ephemera. One family piece I, th I think she'll enjoy. And one envelope that's a little bit unusual. So, yeah. Okay, thanks for joining me today. And if you've enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be great. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.